So welcome back to, again today guys. We'll be talking about a very, very important castle today, but before we get into that castle, let me light this up real fast. This is for all the ancestors that, um, you know, passed away during that trip to the Americas, and also for the people that are still getting killed today as well. So let me light this up real fast. So now that we have this lit up, now let me put this right here. And now let's get into it. So today we'll be talking about a famous castle. Yes, a famous castle that I don't think a lot of people know about, but we're going to know about it today, right? We're going to learn today. Whatever it takes, we're going to learn today. So today we'll be talking about a famous uh, castle called Cape Coast Slave Castle or Cape Coast Castle as people know it. This castle is located in West African country of Ghana and also uh, this was known as the Gold Coast at one point. I still call it the Gold Coast uh, and this was called the Gold Coast because there was so much uh, abundance of gold there in gold dust. So gold dust is what attracted the European countries that came to West Africa in the first place and Cape Coast Castle uh, is one of 30 to 40 slave castles or large forts that were built for um, commercial purposes in Africa and West Africa especially and European traders built these forts originally uh, for gold or the you know they built these forts for the uh, the trade industry uh, and the trading commodities such as gold and timber you know timber trade uh, but soon used this for the transatlantic slave trade as well so these castles were used to hold slaves. This was a very famous castle castle for holding slaves. Uh, held my ancestors, held most African Americans' ancestors, held most African descent uh, people's ancestors in Jamaica, Canada, um, Haiti, Puerto Rico, Cuba, um, Dominica, Trinidad, Tobago, Brazil, um, 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 let's see, let's see, Honduras, Panama, Mexico, wherever they might be uh, in the South America, Central America, Caribbean or North America, including Canada and obviously the United States. So um, they had this castle, these kind of castles and this castle held slaves and they held slaves until they were loaded on ships. And this was, uh, you know, different a little bit different from some castles some castles were just built for for uh, protection and things like that but these castles were for trade and for slaves mostly so these slaves were transported obviously to the uh, to the americas when i say the americas people don't understand americas meaning all the whole continent of america uh you know north america central america and south america and the slaves when crossing into the this last door heading out of the castle uh you know, many died of, of hunger and sickness and other causes, but there was a famous door that Africans crossed um, before they left into the um, to the Western world or the Western Hemisphere, the Americas, and this door was referred to as the door of no return. Now, millions of Africans were shipped uh, out of Africa as slaves and through this castle, they were shipped through, the, you know, they had to go through this castle or brought to this castle before they were shipped out to the Americas. and. Um, they were shipped out in America due to labor. They were basically human machines. They were human machines. And labor in the Western Hemisphere uh, was the motive of the European countries that were starting to colonize West Africa and all of Africa in general down the road, and we'll get to that in another video. But uh, millions of Africans died on the transatlantic slave trade with some Africans only making it you know, into the castle, which would be their last image of despair before they passed away, and I just, ugh. Hurts me every time to think about it, but um, this was a lot of our ancestors' last uh, uh, journey before they passed into the, the next life uh, or the afterlife or whatever you want to call it. So um, this would be the greatest forced migration in human history documented and also in documented Now Cape history. Coast Castle was built in 1653, starting out as a wooden building, and it was built, um, as I stated, for timber and gold trade. Now. This was built by the Swedish Africa Company for the King of Sweden. Um, and the castle was later rebuilt in stone and then was seized by the Danish in 1663, uh, then being transferred to the English control in just one year later. Um, and this was an ongoing struggle of Europeans trying to take over the coast of West Africa. So yet, yeah, no matter uh, which nation held the castle, control over trade was the primary mission of the, this outpost or these outposts. And by the 17th century, most of this trade was in people or slaves or African people, uh, you know, being turned into slaves or being sold for slavery. 
So before Africans made this gruesome travel to the Americas, they were brought to the castle. In the dungeons of the castle, uh, up to a thousand slaves, just a thousand slaves could be held and the conditions were unthinkable. I mean, unthinkable. I mean, wall to wall African people, um, you know, just wall to wall to where they could even barely move. It was really, uh, um, it was probably really, really a, a, a gruesome sight to see. Now, 200 slaves would be in one room with no space to lie down. Floors were filled with human waste. I mean, you know, they were standing stacked wall to wall. So, um, you know, as you can imagine, when they had to use the restroom, when they had to pee or poop, they had to just do it where they were at. So, uh, human waste was all, I mean, everywhere on the ground. There was nowhere on the ground that there wasn't human waste, um, which many Africans became ill from, catching yellow fever and malaria as well. And slaves had to sleep in a crouched position against one another, also leading to muscle problems and having to sleep in lay, or not even lay, but crouch in their own feces. Um, I mean, it just, you know, when I think about it, it just, all the struggle that our people went through and still are going through, it's just, you know, it's crazy. And, you know, sometimes I wonder what was the purpose of this? Why do we have to go through this? But um, these conditions also did not improve. They didn't improve at all. And these conditions actually worsened when uh, Africans were taken and became slaves on the, uh, the the passage or middle passage to the americas and after passing through the door of no return the middle passage would be even more severe uh with trips to america taking anywhere from several months to one or two months in the 1700s with the advancements of ships in their speed. now even more slaves died on the middle passage of uh of, of the trip to the americas and they died of uh disease like i stated and also of malnutrition with some slaves being fed to sharks and many, many other gruesome things, which I'm pretty sure you can imagine. But anything under the sun, whether it be standing in your own feces, peeing on each other, um, you know, being chained to uh, big rocks and bricks and stones and thrown off on the side of the ocean if you were sick and they thought that you wouldn't, weren't going to make it or you were making other people sick or you were trying to revolt. Um, you know, a lot of limbs got cut off, a lot of uh, uh, salt, you know, sea salt water and open wounds and just all kind of things um, that were very gruesome and, um, you know, almost brings a tear to my eye when I think about, you know, how we're even here today and what we've, our people have been through and our ancestors have been through. But, um, you know, once they reached the Americas, they faced a life of slavery, um, most often on plantations, you know, which I'm pretty sure you're aware of. And while many came to the United States, many more were shipped to the Caribbean and South America, Central America, like I stated as well. Countries like Panama, uh, um, um, Brazil, countries around that area, whether it be all the way from the tip of South America, all the way up to the tip of North America. So this almost all began the journey uh, in, you know, in slavery from the Ghana Coast Castle or the Cape Coast Castle in Ghana. So this, uh, almost all of it began from that castle and, uh, you know, African people were shipped or put through that castle, processed through that castle before they were shipped out to the Americas. And Cape Coast Castle can be reached by bus or car from the capital of the city of Accra in Ghana, if you want to visit. And the castle has been preserved as a historical site um, and is also a world heritage site as and well. And visitors visit every year from uh, all around the world. And this includes African Americans that go back and visit and as well as other African uh, people of African descent um, or peoples of African descent from the rest of the Americas as well. And this is to pay their respects uh, to the ancestors who were taken from their homelands and forced to serve as slaves throughout the new world. So if you ever wanna go visit this fort, I will one day, um, definitely I have to. This is a very, very important fort for us, um, it, you know, I'm, I've seen people go and the energy that they say is in the castle is just something that you couldn't believe. Um, and I think that our ancestors would want us to go back and to want us to to uh, explore the castle and feel the energy that they left behind and probably are still there watching over us. And one day I will uh, visit it. So if you ever want to visit, it's located in the West African country of Ghana um, and you could take a, like I stated, a car or short bus um, to the 
Cape Coast Castle and visit it. And they have tours and a lot of people go from around the world and people of African descent around the world. So today, you can't say you're ignorant. You can't say you don't know where you come from. Um, well, at least we're trying to sort of dig at it and see exactly where you come from. And even if you don't know exactly where you came from, you know you come from the continent of Africa. So um, this is one more step closer, I think, to understanding our story and uh, filling this void between, you know, the Western world and people of African descent not knowing uh, forts and kings and queens and kingdoms and to be prideful about the good and bad of our history to understand it fully. So once again, today we learned about Cape Coast Castle. Cape Coast Castle. Visit it if you can. Um, and let's decode our brains. Share this with whoever you can as well. I would love to do this full time and share as much knowledge as I can. Um, my Patreon account is always there for you to make a donation if uh, you would be so kindly to do. Um, and the link is under below. Uh, you can look down in the description and it will have my Patreon account, the Facebook for African Network, and also uh, the Twitter for African Network. So follow me, subscribe, and Patreon if you um, love what so I'm doing. Around the world is what I'm really trying to say is, yo, peace, one love, I care about you, we should care about all of us together, not just single ethnic groups, but we need to work together. Economics, history, everything together. And we would be very powerful. And one day we'll get there, and we're getting there. So to all my black people, I'm not gonna be long-winded no more, y'all, I'm out of here. Yo, peace, one love.
What's up, what's up? Hey! Shalom. What up? Hi. Happy 